Hey guys, I'm Jenna, also known as Ayla13. Today I'm going to show you how I paint the Raging Heroes Lust Elf Shalia. She's got a very dynamic pose, she's leaping backward, and as soon as I saw her I envisioned her leaping out of a pool of blood. But I had no idea how to achieve this, so this is a little bit of an experiment. I started with a white undercoat, then painted practically the whole model with murderous magenta. I mixed Thamar black with pig iron to base coat the blades and boots. I highlighted these with pig iron and then cold steel. I painted the cloth beaten purple and glazed the spikes and head tentacle things with the same colour. I highlight the skin and mask with a mix of Rin Flesh and Murderous Magenta. It's starting to take shape now but I'm still playing around with these colours and blends. I use Murderous Magenta to highlight the cloth and spikes, blending the mask together a little bit more. Then I shade the tentacle spikes and cloth with more beaten purple. Now that I'm finally happy with the colours, I highlight the skin with Rin Flesh. In order to tie her skin in with the spikes and make her look a little more demonic, I added some spots of murderous magenta. I base coated the gold parts with molten bronze and highlighted them with solid gold. I decided the cloth needed a little more highlighting so I added the final layer of Rin Flesh and murderous magenta. Now for the blood. I used a toothbrush to flick a little blood for the blood god onto her base. I'm being very careful not to overdo it here. Then I painted the rest of her base with blood for the blood god. Now for my experiment. I cut out strips of plastic from an old model pack to use as a scaffold. Then I used PVA glue to stick them to the base, propping them up with some tin foil. This was incredibly fiddly and slow. At one point I tried to use super glue to speed up the process, but as I feared it started to make the plastic strips cloudy. When the plastic strips were finally glued, I mixed up some Vallejo gel water effects with some Tamiya red clear and a little dot of black to darken the colour. The gel starts out opaque but dries clear. After a week it had cleared sufficiently for me to do the next layer. I regret not adding black this time. I thought it would be like a, a colour transition, but I think it turned out too bright in the end. And I couldn't undo it. Oh well. I decided she looked a little too clean for splashing in all that blood, so I mixed up some more Tamiya red and black and added a few bloody patches. I coated the bloody base in gloss and painted the rims black. And here's the finished model. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'll see you later.